With Serato Studio Drum Deck Keyboard Mode, you can easily move your drum hits off grid and pitch your drums up or down. In this how-to video, we'll show you how to get the most out of this feature. Nudging your drum hits a little early or late is the secret to really getting your drum patterns in the right pocket. Let's take this simple drum pattern for example. The beat is good, but the drums are a little rigid because everything hits perfectly on the grid. There's no swing or feel to it. And the drum deck keyboard mode. If you select the drum pad that you want to move and turn this mode on, you can move each of the drum notes individually, like you can in the instrument and sample decks. So let's select every second hi-hat and drag them forwards to the right just a little bit. This is a common technique that gives the hi-hat patterns a little swing and adds emphasis to the kick and the snare. Let's now select the kick pad and move every second kick forward to the right, just a little to emphasize the swing even further. You can already achieve a simple swing with the swing knob, but keyboard mode lets you move each hit independently, giving you full control. Another way of using keyboard mode is to easily paint drum sounds at different pitches without having to use automation. Let's say you've got this trap drum pattern and you want to add a bit of character and variety to the hi-hat rolls. Select the hi-hat pad, enable keyboard mode, and paint the hi-hats up and down on the piano roll. This will play the hi-hats at different pitches. Another common technique with hi-hat patterns is to alternate the pitch of every second hi-hat to add some dynamics. Pitch shifting is also a great way to add snare rolls. It can also be used to write an 808 bass line with the drum deck without having to add a separate sample deck. These are just a few ways you can use the new drum deck keyboard mode feature available now inside of Serato Studio. Download this update at serato.com.